a short time ago an american airplane dropped one bomb on hiroshima and destroyed its usefulness to the enemy that bomb has more power than twenty thousand tons of t n t twenty thousand tons of t n t twenty thousand tons of t n t Welcome to Silent Thunder, the atomic bombings of Japan. There are moments etched in time that change the course of humanity. One such moment occurred during World War II when the world witnessed the devastating impact of atomic bombs on Japan. As the world was engulfed in the flames of war, Tensions reached a boiling point in the Pacific. The Allied forces faced a difficult decision, one that would alter the course of history forever. Behind closed doors, scientists worked tirelessly on the Manhattan Project, a secret endeavor to develop the most powerful weapons known to humanity. Little did they know, their creations would unleash unimaginable horrors. At the heart of the atomic bomb's creation stood J. Robert Oppenheimer, the brilliant physicist who led the Manhattan Project. Known as the father of the atomic bomb, Oppenheimer's intellect and leadership were instrumental in developing the devastating weapons that would change the course of history. He knew the world would not be the same. Few people laughed. Few people cried. Most people were silent. I remembered the line from the Hindu scripture, the Bhagavad Gita. Vishnu is trying to persuade the prince that he should do his duty and to impress him takes on his multi-armed form and says, Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. On the peaceful morning of August 6, 1945, Hiroshima, a city of culture and history became the epicenter of a cataclysmic event. The Enola Gay, a U.S. bomber, approached the city with a deadly cargo. At exactly 8.15 a.m., the world changed forever. The little boy atomic bomb was dropped, leveling Hiroshima and claiming the lives of tens of thousands of innocent civilians.
Amidst the devastation, stories of resilience emerged. Survivors, known as Hibakusha, share their harrowing experiences, tales of loss, survival, and the enduring spirit of humanity. Uh, when I was in a high school day, uh, I went to the junior high school with the old bicycle. At that time, there are no tree, no building over there. And if I free in the sand, uh, I, I, I could find the human form at that time. My name is So Horie. Uh, I am 78 years old. Uh, I lived in the uh, west part of Hiroshima City. What do you do? Uh, uh, my wife. <laughs> I don't remember uh, because I was too, 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 too young. Uh, I, uh, I, I was four and ten months years old at that time. The aftermath was catastrophic. The world grappled with the implications of these unprecedented attacks. The bombings, while ending the war, raised ethical questions that still echo through time. Was the use of atomic bombs morally justifiable, given the scale of civilian casualties and the devastating impact on the cities? Did the level of destruction caused by the atomic bombings align with the military objectives of bringing about a swift end to the war? Were there alternative strategies or actions that could have been taken to achieve the same result without resorting to such extreme and destructive measures? Did intentionally targeting civilian populations align with ethical principles, considering that the majority of the casualties were non-combatants? Today, the legacy of the atomic bombings lives on. Memorials stand as solemn reminders of the price paid for peace. May we, as stewards of the present and architects of the future, unite in the hope that the events of 1945 remain unparalleled. Let this be a solemn reminder that the destructive power of atomic weapons should never again be unleashed upon our world.